Welcome to this QuickBooks 2019 tutorial for beginners on how to enter a credit card bill. My name is Matt Holtquist with the QuickBooks University, and I wanted to put together this uh, video to show you because this comes up quite a bit. I get a lot of questions on this, you know, how do I enter this credit card bill? And I see a lot of people do this incorrectly. And so I wanted to just show you in general how to enter a credit card bill. Now there can be multiple ways, depending on if you pay off the entire balance each month, uh, you know, or you're paying a minimum payment. So in this case, in this example, what I'm using is uh, the situation where you get a credit card bill and you're not paying the entire bill. You're not paying off the entire balance, okay? So during the month, you know, you may also have bank feeds set up. You may be importing transactions, uh, whatever the case may be. So in, again, in this video, we're going to assume that you get a credit card bill. You're going to enter the charges into QuickBooks, and then you are going to enter the bill. Okay, so this is going to be the process. And this is different than just entering a normal operating bill or a bill for inventory. Okay. All right, so you get your statement, let's say at the end of the month, uh, whatever the time period is, and it, you know, you get it electronically, you pull it online, you get it in the mail, it doesn't really matter. So you have this bill in front of you, okay? So the normal process is you're just gonna go and you're going to enter a bill, okay? Now, for a credit card, you don't go here to enter bills. The first thing that you wanna do is you want to go to banking and enter credit card charges. All right, you can also get to that right here. There's a button down here under banking, enter credit card charges, okay? So you're gonna choose which credit card this is, all right? And you're gonna put in your purchase information. So you're just gonna go down your statement and you're just gonna enter the different charges uh, from you know, whatever you purchased on the credit card, all right? So you can do it here. Uh, if you're a beginner, the simplest way is going to be to go here, enter the charges, put in the, you know, the date of the charge, the amount and the account. Okay. So you're going to go through and you're going to do this for every single charge on the card. All right. Don't enter payments here on the card, just the charges. Okay. Now, once you enter all of these charges and you save and close, the next step is you want to go to banking and you want to go down to reconcile. Okay. So just like you're going to reconcile your bank account, you want to reconcile your credit card. All right. So we're going to choose capital one. You're going to put in your ending balance, whatever the ending balance on the statement is. Okay. So you want to make sure that this beginning balance is correct on your statement. And if you reconcile each month, it should be. So we put in the ending balance. If there are any finance charges because you're making minimum payments, you're going to enter those here. So in this case, we're going to say that this, there were no finance charges, any balance $4,000. We hit continue. Okay. And we're going to check off what cleared the statement that month. All right. Just like a bank reconciliation. So I'm going to check this off, check this. Okay. And then this. So we're going to say that these are the transactions that cleared for the month. And we know that our reconciliation is right because we have a zero difference down here. Okay. So now when I hit reconcile now, here's where you're going to enter the bill for that credit card. All right. So it says make payment. Outstanding balance is $4,000 to pay all our apportions, select the payment type. So you can write a check for payment now. Okay. So if you are uh, paying this online right now and you're paying a certain amount, you can do this or you can enter a bill for payment later. So we want to choose enter a bill for payment later because we're going to pay it at a later date. We click OK. So now you're going to see it's going to bring up the bill screen. Okay, so we can, if you're going to print your re reconciliation report, you can print it. I'm going to close this. Okay, so it brings up the bill screen and it says Capital One Financial $4,000. Okay, now if you are paying a minimum payment or a different amount than the whole balance, you can say, you can type in whatever amount you want. All right, this is key here. So if it's minimum payment, put in the minimum payment. If it's a different amount, put in the different amount. It's, it's going to default to the balance of the credit card. So you just change it. Okay. And then you're going to put in the bill due date. All right. So let's say that this is not due until uh, January 15th. And then you're going to hit save and close. Okay. 
we'll save it anyway. Okay, so now what this has done is when we go to pay bills, all right, we see here, uh, let's see, I have to find Capital One, here it is right here. Here's our bill for $500, all right? And so this, what this does is this gets all of the charges on the card into your books so that you correctly account for your expenses or inventory or whatever the case may be. So you're getting all those charges in there and you're also keeping track of the right balance, all right? Because the balance of a credit card is a liability to your business. You owe this money to Capital One. But we wanna reflect that we're just making a $500 payment instead of the full balance uh, or some other amount, okay? So those are the basics of entering a credit card bill. You just want to make sure you follow these steps instead of doing it like a normal enter bill, uh, and you should be all set. Any questions whatsoever, leave a comment below. Uh, also, love to help you over at the QuickBooks University. Somebody asked me the other day, they said, okay, so what's the difference between, you know, all these YouTube videos and, you know, purchasing the tutorials at QuickBooks University? And... The difference is the tutorials are step by step from start to finish in a in a, sequ a sequential order of learning so that you learn QuickBooks starting with the very basics going all the way to the more advanced. OK, plus you can ask me personal questions very specific to your situation as you're learning so that I can help you and walk with you as you learn. So head over there now, head over to the QuickBooks University. The website is qbuniversity.org and I look forward to seeing you over there.